All right, Hog Dude 1234. You requested it, and I'm going to show it. I'm starting to get on to dark. I put a fresh new piece of cardboard on my target. What do you think of that? We're going to take my homemade hog light, and we're going to do some shots tonight in the dark. And I put some trail tacks into my target to simulate some eyeballs. I wish they were red or amber, but they're turning out green. Deer's eyes are green, hogs are amber. That's how you can tell the difference at night. And we're going to go back to 18 yards, 25 yards, and then I'm going to go back to 35 yards. I may have to use my white light. I usually hunt with red. And I'm going to go back and show you guys while there's still some light so you'll see what I'm seeing in the daytime and know how I'm shooting down through here. Alright, I'm at 18 yards now. Just make up the target up there. Now I'm at 25 yards. And that's what we're seeing at 25 yards. Alright guys, I'm out here on the sidewalk in front of my house. Thirty-five yards. And you see how it simulates a real life hunting situation. I've got bushes, trees, I got a shooting lane I've got to hit. And I've never missed my target. But you can see there's a window back there above the fence. If I miss and hit that building back there, that's my neighbor's workshop. I can explain that arrow away. That just happens to be my deer lease. And that's my partner over there. I hunt his property in Blanco. So we're going to wait till it gets dark. And I'll get you guys some footage and show you how this light works at night. And that's what we're going to do at night, guys. You're not going to be able to see your peep. you got to use anchor points. Hey, guys. We're 25 yards now. My first shot was not very good. It did hit, but I kind of rushed it. So it's 25 yards. Right square between the eyeballs, right in the forehead. Another one square behind between the eyes from 35 yards. There's a shoulder shot, guys. The first shot from up close, I rushed it, and that fletching's bad. And then you can see the other two square between the eyes. And with just a little bit of light. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to make three more shots. I'm going to use red lens. And I'm going to bring the camera right up here in the yard by the target. And I'm going to go out in the yard and make my shots. Alright guys, you can't see a whole heck of a lot except for eyeballs and a little bit of dimness. A red lens my flashlight, the way I use it for hunting. You're sitting maybe three yards from the target. I'm going to fling my arrows from 15, 25 and 38 yards and this is about all you're gonna see if that you may just see a glow of eyes but I'm gonna demonstrate with the camera up close so you guys can see I'm gonna demonstrate how I can shoot 
even though there's not any light on the animal up here. Alright guys, that was my neighbor, that was Roger, my dear lease guy, he, I just neglected to tell him I was shooting. So I got a low right group over here, kind of in the right shoulder, I was rushing it a little bit, but you see I got a better group this time than the last time. Alright guys, that's a one inch bullseye on the target, that target that I drew right there isn't even the size of a basketball, and that's a three inch group about two and a half inch group about three inches from the bulls so on a head shot at 35 yards 25 yards or 18 yards you're not going to do bad at all I'm not sure how the footage come out because I haven't viewed any of it yet but it's about 11 o'clock at night and this is what hog dude wanted this is what hog dude gets I hope you're happy dude show y'all one more thing this is my homemade target you see how thick it is it's almost as deep my arm screwed and compressed down yeah Bubba drive some arrows guys truly say that would have been six dead hogs. Like I said, that's the size of a basketball.